नमस्कार फ्रेंड्स द बुक फॉर टुडे इज ट्वेंटी थाउजेंड लीग्स अंडर द सी बाय जूल्स वर्न इट्स अ वंडरफुल बुक ट्वेंटी थाउजेंड लीग्स अंडर द सी इज अ क्लासिक साइंस फिक्शन एडवेंचर नॉवल रिटन इन एटीन सेवेंटी वे बैक इन एटीन सेवेंटी बाय फ्रेंच राइटर जूल्स वर्न द नॉवल वॉज फर्स्ट ट्रांसलेटेड इन टू इंग्लिश इन द ईयर एटीन सेवेंटी थ्री by reverend uh, lewis uh, page mercier the book uh, was uh, highly acclaimed when it was released and uh, it uh, still uh, remains uh, so it is regarded as one of the premier adventure novels and one of uh, verne's greatest works along with around the world in 80 days and journey to the center of the earth in this book the description and detailing of uh, nemo's uh, ship the nautilus is uh, considered uh, to be much much ahead of its time as it uh, accurately describes many many features of a modern submarine so that's the kind of uh, imagination you'll find in this particular book which at time at that time of uh, writing this book was uh, you know all those ships were very primitive and uh, now you can imagine about it's more than 150 years old this particular narration but it still par excellence the title 20000 leagues refers to the distance uh, traveled while under the sea 20000 leagues or you could say 80000 kilometers is nearly twice the circumference of the earth the greatest depth mentioned in the book is four leagues the book uses metric leagues which are 4 kilometers each during the year 1866 ships of uh, several nations uh, spot a mysterious uh, sea monster which uh, some suggest to be uh, <coughs> a giant uh, narwhal a uh, narwhal is a medium sized uh, whale that possesses a, a large Uh, tusks from a uh, protruding canine tooth the united states government assembles an expedition to find out who this uh, 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 who is this uh, uh, what is this uh, mysterious uh, sea, sea monster so the government assembles an expedition in uh, new york city to find out and uh, even to destroy this particular monster In this particular um, expedition professor uh, Pierre Adonox uh, a French marine biologist and narrator of the story who happens to be in New York at the time receives a last minute invitation to join the expedition uh, which he accepts a Canadian whaler and uh, master harpoonist Ned Land and uh, Adonox's uh, faithful servant council are also brought aboard for this particular expedition so now the expedition starts it's very interesting the expedition departs from the 34th uh, street pier in manhattan aboard the united states uh, navy frigate abraham lincoln and travels uh, south around cape horn into the pacific ocean after a long search the ship finds the monster and then attacks uh, the beast which uh, damages the ship's uh, rudder the three protagonists are then hurled into the water when they get hold of the hide out of the creature which they find to their utter surprise to be a submarine way far ahead of its era so what they thought to be a monster turns out to be a, a submarine they are forced uh, to wait on the back of the submarine boat until morning when they are captured and brought inside the vehicle where they meet its uh, enigmatic creator and commander captain nemo the rest of the story follows the, uh, the with the adventures of the protagonist aboard the creature the submarine the nautilus which was built in secrecy and now roams 
the seas free from any land based government captain nemo's motivation is implied to be both a, a scientific thirst for knowledge and a desire for revenge upon an uh, self imposed exile from the civilization nemo explains that uh, his uh, submarine is uh, electrically powered and can perform advanced uh, marine biology research he also tells his new passengers that although he appreciates um, conversing with such an expert as uh, aronax uh, maintaining the secret of his uh, existence requires never letting them leave so now aronax and company are stuck for life aronax and council are enthralled by the undersea adventures but ned land that harpoonist can only think of an escape they visit many places under the ocean some real and some uh, fictional the travelers witness the real corals of the red sea the wrecks of the battle of vigo bay the antarctic ice shelves the transatlantic i'm sorry the transatlantic uh, telegraph cable and the legendary submerged land of atlantis the travelers also uh, use uh, diving suits to hunt uh, sharks and other marine life with air guns and have an underwater uh, funeral for a crew member who died when an accident occurred under mysterious uh, conditions inside the nautilus when uh, nautilus returns to the atlantic ocean a package of uh, octopus attack the vessel and uh, kill a crew member throughout the story captain nemo is suggested to have exiled himself from the world after an encounter with the forces that occupied his uh, country that had devastating effects on his family not long after the incident of the octopus nemo suddenly changes his uh, behavior towards uh, aronax avoiding him aronax now aronax no longer feels uh, the same and begins to sympathize with uh, ned land that harpoonus near the end of the book the nautilus uh, is attacked by a warship of some nation that had made uh, nemo suffer earlier filled with uh, hatred and revenge nemo ignores aronax's uh, pleas for mercy nemo nicknamed angel of hatred by aronax destroys the ship ramming it just below the waterline and consequently sinking it into the bottom of the sea much to aronax's uh, horror as he watches the ship plunge into the abyss nemo kneels before the pictures of his wife and children and is plunged into deep uh, depression and grief after his encounter for several days after this the situation of uh, protagonists protagonist keeps uh, changing no one seems to be on board any longer and the uh, nautilus uh, nautilus moves about randomly ned land is even more uh, depressed council fears for ned's life and uh, aronax horrified at what uh, nemo had done to the ship can no longer stand the situation either one evening uh, ned land announces an opportunity to escape although aronax wants to leave nemo uh, whom he now holds in horror he still wishes to see him one last time but he knows that nemo uh, would never let him escape so he avoids uh, that particular meeting before the escape however he sees him one last time although secretly and hears him uh, uttering almighty god enough enough aronax uh, immediately goes to his uh, companions and they are ready to escape but while they loosen the boat they discover that the nautilus has wandered into a whirlpool more commonly known as the maelstrom they finally manage to escape and find a refuge on a nearby island off the coast of uh, norway but the fate of uh, uh, nautilus is unknown so the book ends with that 
but uh, it's when you go through this book it's uh, beautiful it's out of the world uh, friends in uh, it's an excellent book to read even ebook is available quite cheap so pick it up i suggest the description and detailing especially done 150 years back is uh, par excellent um excellent uh, must say he was uh, must say this author was a genius uh, friends novels are all about uh, imagination and i really salute his imagination i would give this uh, novel 8 out of 10 so uh, that's all i have for today goodbye and see you soon